Welcome back to The Watchman from the ancient ruins of La Quiche. I want to thank once again our good friend, Danny the Digger Herman, for an amazing history lesson of this site. And folks, when I think of La Quiche, I think of a situation where God Almighty turned tragedy into triumph. Yes, La Quiche fell and it was a bloody siege and a major setback, but Jerusalem was spared and the revival was sparked in the land under King Hezekiah. But look, all look lost here at Lachish. But that wasn't the first time in the past 2,700 years that all looked lost for Israel and the Jewish people. All looked lost under the Babylonians, under the Romans, under the Ottomans, under the Nazis. But fast forward, what is standing behind me? Not the flag of Assyria here in Lachish, it's the flag of the state of Israel. You know why, folks? God Almighty, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, keeps his promises. In the book of Ezekiel and in many other places throughout the Bible, God Almighty says, I will bring you from the nations where you were scattered and I will bring you back. Guess what? It happened. The Jewish people, the people of Israel live. They are back never to be scattered again. And that includes right here in Lachish. So join our movement here at Christians United for Israel so we can bring you these great stories on a regular basis here on The Watchman Show. You see the URL, you see the phone number on your screen, call, visit the website, and join us. We're America's largest pro-Israel organization, folks, over three million members nationwide, growing every day, bringing you the truth about the land of Israel for such a time as this. Well, thanks for joining us this week from the amazing site of La Quiche. Until next time, God bless you. And remember, never hold your peace.